I'm not all here today. I'm trying to be, but I'm just feeling really mentally off. Just not very happy right now. I don't have very much patience for my son because he's just like frustrating the hell out of me. I love him. Just, you know, mom life. I'm trying to both warm up and calm down with a cup of tea. Hopefully that'll help. I love this mug so much, but it's very hot. I have a few mugs that are like that. Well, yeah, three mugs that are like that, where I love them. They're like a cute novelty item, but they get so hot that it's like, it's kind of hard to drink out of them. Plus the lip is kind of big, so... Yeah, but I try to use them every once in a while, because I bought them and I want to get use out of them, so... Is this one my Harry Potter um, cauldron one with the houses on it and my Frankenstein pumpkin one. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing better than I am. I'm just tired. As you can see, I've gone back to black. I was tired of the two-tone colors. It was fun for a while and I really liked how it looked, but I was pretty lazy and didn't feel like keeping up on the red on this side. And so it was making me feel really old and tired and look crappy. And so I was like, I want to go back to my natural hair color. <laughs> yes, black is my natural hair color. Maybe not quite as black as the hair color it gets, but I mean the hair color, but I was born with black hair. I always had black hair. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. I'm going to go outside for a minute. It's been a weird day. Like, the weather can't decide what it wants to do. Like, I'm super happy when it's overcast. Aww, how cute. Uh, Aww. Hello. My name is Wagon. Wagon. Yes. My name is Wagon, and I have these kind of blankets. And... And this is a little blue one, and I have another blanket which is like that, and my other, my pillow cover was a wall school, so that looked like a blanket. And I got this paper cut at the dentist. Oh no. Okay, hold on. And, but I am okay. Anyway, and, as you see, it's been raining. The sun's trying to break free, and that makes me mad. You know, it's just weird. I don't know, I'm just... The impending summer is depressing me. And I really... I'm missing fall. Hey! I'm really Mama. missing... Mama. Just a minute. Really missing... <laughs> Halloween shopping, all this stuff that goes along with that. I'm just tired. Thing about a rainy day it makes me want to light. Oh, it smells so good. Candles. This is a uh, blood orange pumpkin and ginger. I wonder if I should eat ginger. Find a way to incorporate ginger in my diet. It's supposed to be good for you. I want to read up on the benefits of ginger. I actually got a ginger bot body wash recently. I got a ginger body wash recently that smells really good. And I got a, a ginger maple, Vermont maple and ginger tea that's really, really good. Um, ginger's supposed to help the tummy and all that. So I'm going to go light some more candles. So bad. Yeah. Finally. Now how do I get it in here without burning myself? Ha ha. Don't burn. Don't burn me. Ow. Ow. I'm 
lights got burned. In the other videos, I have all these cute little fake lights that I like to turn on. So I'm going to put some of those on too. i kind of improved my mood. It's weird. It's like I love the overcast day. And yet I like light, but just like flickering lights. They just kind of improve my mood and I can't explain why. So I'm trying to work on my mental health right now. But I'm just not feeling very good. And I don't know why I'm choosing to make a video now, but I guess I'm just feel like it. I feel like maybe it will help me. So yeah. Are you guys watching anything good lately? I'm watching I just tried to watch something. Watch one episode of My Hero Academia. Takiyami. Takiyama. He's hot. I watched him. I mean I watched he was featured in the episode but I watched it. And then I watched um I wonder what it would look like to have one of those little candles in here. Uh, oh, we've been watching Breaking Bad. This little one. I put it in here. My mom has had this little thing. I don't know if it's a votive candle holder or a little cup or what. But she's had it for years. and Somehow I inherited it. And I use it a lot for like painting watercolors and stuff. And so I just wanted to try to use it as a candle holder. And it actually looks pretty dang cool. It looks like blood red, gothy. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to have to put that over there with this stuff. Check that out. That looks amazing. So I'm just going to put some more lights on and go from there. This looks nice. I moved this skull um, wax melter out from the bathroom because we weren't really using it in the bathroom and just thought it looked better out here since we don't have a fish tank here anymore. So, yeah, I'm just got a couple of little lights in the hallway going. I need a tripod. Like, I need to get my own tripod because my husband has two of them. For his projects but I haven't bought one because I figured why buy one if we have two already but I just always feel funny about using his because <sighs> I don't want to break it because it's not really made that well and I feel like I should get my own sometime I don't know I just don't know So, I don't know how any of you feel, but I am an introvert, and I try at times to be, not be extroverted, but be social and friendly and stuff, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I have my moments, but... Sometimes I just really want to be alone. And I feel like there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I feel extremely guilty for it. Like, I feel like I shouldn't want to be alone. I do. Like, I don't want to talk on the phone. I don't want to text anybody. I don't want to see anybody. I just want quiet and to be alone. And it doesn't work when you have a five-year-old. It doesn't work when he's constantly in need of you and wants to be on top of you. I, okay, when he was little, he didn't have separation anxiety like most babies do. Like, he didn't really care if I left the room. He didn't try to find me. He didn't really cry. Um, because I think he had a, a full house of people and he knew that there was always going to be somebody there for him so and there always was someone there wasn't really a moment where he was alone 
except for, you know, when he was asleep, but even then we shared a room with him, so I guess he just didn't have the, the time to have the separation anxiety, and now it's now, and he's like freaking out about every little thing, and it's just so frustrating, and he's just constantly talking and talking and talking and talking and wanting things and badgering me when I have to do my stuff, and I'm just like, trying to stay strong. I am, but I'm losing it a couple of times, and I feel really bad about that. I apologize to him today. We talked. But he's got to learn, too, that I need some mommy time. Stay-at-home mom life is no joke. It is not for the weak. It is... It is... It is... Yeah. It is a more than a full time hey, job. Guess what's si silly? Mostly when he interrupts me, like 99% of the day, I can't focus. I literally cannot focus. I can't remember things. I can't remember what I'm doing. I can't remember the next task. I just, my mind goes blank and it gets all jumbled at the same time and I just can't do things. And it's just so upsetting. I'm trying. I really am. But I'm having a hard time. Anyway, so, plus, I, like I keep saying, I've been in a lot of pain lately. And last night, yesterday, I was in pain all day. Today I feel better, praise God, and I think it's because it's raining and gloomy outside, which is funny because sometimes, like my sister, this weather kills her and it makes her feel worse. Uh, I start hurting when it's warm sometimes. I'm just a different type of animal. So... Sometimes, you know, when it gets super cold, you know, I'll have aches and pains. I know I sound like an 80-year-old woman, but it's just life. I'm getting older, and that's been kind of depressing me, too. Um, but I'll be okay. Yesterday I had a good day. This morning was good. It's just the afternoon got progressively worse. I'm just not sleeping well because of the pain and I can't stay asleep throughout the day. I mean throughout the night. I just can't. If I could sleep in the morning, because usually I do, that's like when the best time is that I'm sleeping is in the morning, but then I have to get up by 9.30 because my husband has to leave. I, mean, I, I should be getting up before 9.30, but he has to leave by 10. So it's like, you know, of course I get the good sleep when he has to leave. <laughs> and of course my son doesn't sleep in. So, I apologize. I feel like all I'm doing is complaining. I don't like it. I just want to have a happy video. But as I always say, let's just be real on this channel. I try to be real with things I do and say and feel. I'm just not feeling good. Right now I'm not feeling good mentally and emotionally. I'm just tired. I literally would go to sleep if I didn't have to deal with my son right now. I would go to sleep if I could. And then wake up and read and read and read and read and then go back to sleep. Maybe watch something. That sounds really lazy, but I I work really hard. <laughs> and I'm super tired. I just need a break. I need a vacation or something. <laughs> That's not gonna happen either. So anyway. Oh uh, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um I want to do something fun for 
for my videos, but I'm not sure what that will be. I'm hoping it, even though I'm complaining about the weather, but as the weather gets nicer, I spend more time out on my balcony and I get it decorated, making it look better and have a better backdrop. I'm hoping to do more videos out there. Um, but I am enjoying doing the, you know, little hauls like I used to. And manga reviews are fun. I think I'm going to continue to do manga and book reviews. Because um, it's something I'm passionate about and I really like. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go. And um, as always, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.